Hey there, today we're going to have a look at the weather command when you're using Minecraft Education. Alright, so the weather command made up of these three main components. Our, for our slash command straight up, which is just forward slash weather, and then you have to make a choice between clear, rain, and thunder. And then you can, it is optional to kind of specify the durations. If you only want it to run for a certain amount of time, in seconds, you would put that in. So if you want to run for a thousand seconds, you'd put in a thousand. But so you have clear, you can make clear skies, you can just make it rain, it kind of goes a bit dark, or you can have a full on thunderstorm as well. We're going to kind of mix this one up a bit though, and have a bit of fun with a good scenario. So, in regards to learning this one, we're going to use it twice, and we would basically explain this as an if-then-else algorithm as to how it works. Something that I've gone and pre-done is this roof kind of above my indoor garden, but it's important that if it rains, that we have the ability to open that roof, just like that. That's a basic fill command. So, that's all I have sitting in here, is two basic fills. So if the lever sits on the open side, the roof is open. If the lever sits on the closed side, the roof closes. So basically, fill with air or fill with glass. Now, that's not the part we're interested in. We're more interested in the weather command. So if it's open, um, which is, as you can see, this bottom one, which is fill with air, that means that we want it to start raining. So what we're going to do, let's switch that back so this doesn't trigger straight away, is I'm going to put a command block here on the same line. Now, I'm going to open that one up and then we're going to go forward slash weather and then it's this easy, we're just going to write rain. I'm not going to worry about the timings in this one where you could add in times if you wanted to, but we're going to leave it. So what I do is I'm going to flick it to switch the roof open and as I do that this triggers but as you can see it's also started raining so I'm going to let that water in for my garden because it's triggered this one. Now the thing is is that I could um, close the roof it's still raining though and that's perfectly fine as well especially if I've got it on a time duration but just to teach it the other way so roof is open now rain's coming in I'm going to place down this command block on the top line because it aligns with the this field command. And I'm going to go forward slash weather. And I'm going to go clear. And so this time when I pull the lever, the basically the rain will kind of start to dissipate. So this one here, roof's open, rain comes in. This one here, roof closes, and the rain will start to gradually go away. Now, just quickly <clears throat> to explain how that one is working as an if then else. So basically this is a, if the roof is, the roof is open, then make it rain, else if it's closed, um, stop the rain. And so how have I actually done that? I have got my, my lever here, which is powering this block. And essentially it's when I pull this, is that it will power the redstone underneath, which is connected to our rain weather command here and our open the roof command there. If I pull it the other way, which means it's off, is that the torch here, my redstone torch, which is always on, um, will power this line of redstone power and the other two commands. But what's special and what we would have learned in some of the other videos is that when you provide a redstone signal or you trigger a redstone signal provider like a lever is that it inverts the torch, so it turns it off. And so that's how we're managing to create that if then else statement. And then all we really need, we've got left to do here is just to tidy this up so that we can't even see the command work. So for anyone who's coming through to play, that it works perfectly, and hopefully you'd have no idea that all that command work is hidden underneath. Anyway, I hope you like that one, we will see you again soon. Cheers.